Hi and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147. I thought we'd have a little chat today while I make a start um, on my duck. So this is Mr Charlie Quackers, I've decided. Um, and this is my duck painting that I recently got from Diamond Art Studio. I have quite a few diamond paintings on the go at the moment. Um, I, I can't seem to stop kitting up and starting diamond paintings. I just haven't actually had as much time to diamond paint in the last couple of weeks as I would have liked. So they're sort of building up without actually getting finished. But they will get there. Um, and sometimes you just have to go with the excitement level. So I was rather excited to try this one, to give it a go. I did get another canvas from Diamond Art Studio UK uh, before this one actually came out. I did get another one from them and a little sample one from them to give, to give them a go. And I put that into my sort of normal collection. But when I saw this one, I had to order it as another painting from them. And I was quite excited about this one. So I have decided to start it, mix it in along with the rest. Um, part of this was already done, as you may have seen when the video started. That is because there is a video coming up. I think I've scheduled it for Tuesday on how to work on a square diamond painting. If you are used to rounds, I've got a few tips and tricks coming up in that video on how you can make um, working on squares a little bit easier for yourself. It, it does take, it can take a little bit more than working on rounds and they can take a little bit longer, but the effect is amazing. And it's nice to not be limited as to what diamond paints you can purchase by whether they come in square or round. Now, Mr Quackers um, is a painting that will be available in both square and round. I know at the time I purchased it, and I'm not sure if it's still the case, there was only square available just due to the shipments um, shipment of stuff that it was delayed for the rounds. I don't know whether they are in stock yet but they are available or will be available if you know that is your preferred painting but I wouldn't want I know some companies only do them in square or round and that depends on the picture as to which diamond shape it is. I wouldn't want you to find that you really loved a painting but couldn't do it or wouldn't buy it because it was only available in square. So hopefully the video that goes up on Tuesday um, will help you in some way to maybe give squares a go if you've not done them before. A few little tips and tricks there for you. Well, I'm not sure how much I'm going to actually, you know, get chance to really work on him at the moment. I have a say I do have a few on the go so I do have a custom diamond painting of which I will be doing four. I'm currently on custom number two and they are 50 by 60s. Now normally I would have had that done and would have hoped that I'd be on the third or the fourth one but as I say I've not had as much time to diamond paint recently. So I am still on custom number two. I was hoping to have them done before I do my whip and chat series in June, but unfortunately it's, it's not gonna happen. So I will you know, stop stressing over it, <laughs> try and take the pressure off a little bit and you know, it will happen when it happens. I, I am excited to see what all four of them look like 
because they are the same image but from different companies so I am excited to see how they turn out and I will keep plodding on with the ones the one that I've got on the go and hopefully get that done soon so that I can at least make a start on number three of those I also have a smaller painting that I tend to have on the go and that's just to break up from the big custom one and um, just to change it up a little bit and I'm currently working on a mystery painting that was gifted to me by Margaret. Now I have done two sections on that now so I finished off the section I started in the whip and chat last week and then I did one more section and that is actually all I've had chance to diamond paint this week. It's been very unusual for me but it has been very, very sort of busy and, you know, sometimes I'm not stopping till nine, ten o'clock at night and it's not worth starting to diamond paint then sometimes. Sometimes I just need to actually do nothing because I've been busy for so long. But it's been exciting busy. So a lot of my time has been taken up with the new logbook, new diamond painting logbook that we are about to launch. It is available now on pre-order and we do have a shipment date at the moment being down as the 14th of June. Now we have a lot of the components for us to make the logbook already in-house. However a couple of the key things that we need to make it a perfect logbook are still on the way. So we are going to start working on people's orders and getting them as close to ready as we can and then when the key elements come in it will be a lot quicker. And we're actually hoping to ship them you know before the 14th of June but we've put the 14th of June just to set expectations um, that that is when they'll ship. If we can ship them sooner, we will. Uh, partly because we don't like the orders sat there not on their way to you. Um, as much as we want you guys to be able to get hold of something um, and you know something you've ordered and have it in your hand. I currently have a diamond painting on pre-order with Diamond Art Club. And while I know you know it's been allocated to me and it will ship. And I know the rough date of when it will ship, it's still, there is still this level of, I want it to ship already. So hopefully for those that have pre-ordered, do keep an eye on your inbox. As soon as we do have all the elements and we're able to start shipping, we will. We'll start shipping them in the order in which the orders came in. But yeah, it's taken up a lot of time, which is perfectly fine and um, it's something we've been me and Megan have been excited to do and excited to get right which I think is why it's taken so much time and um, we spent quite a bit of time planning tweaking and um, making it perfect and um, we've then had to wait for of course things like paper supplies and stuff to come in they do ship pretty quick. They are sourced in the UK from um, a UK supplier. So they are in-house, which means we can start the printing process. And in fact, when you're watching this video, if you're watching it when it's gone up, we probably are in the process of printing and starting that process and getting things, you know, ready for when the last components come in and we can make sure that they can get shipped out. But yeah, it's been exciting. We are still, of course, working through tray orders as well. While it's not so much as, as big a delay as it was on the pre-orders that we did for the trays, there is still a few orders in the queue. So there is a few days delay shipping. We're trying not to make shipping delayed by any more than a week if we can help it. Though the printers have been having little, little meltdowns. Well, it's not really a meltdown. They've not melted. 
a um, little bit of a paddy on occasion over the last couple of days so for about the last three or four days due to me working um, and also other commitments we've had this weekend there has been one printer out of the two out of action each day um, we've tried to get them you know back and running but basically they they're both having a complete overhaul one has had a complete overhaul um, and is now printing it's printing fine the other one is due to get a complete overhaul as I'm filming this um, it's going to get a complete overhaul and then hopefully we'll be back up to two printers working fully which means it will only take a day or two to get through the orders that we have waiting but that you will all get a tray we will get there um, we you know we end up having a few the odd print rejects because it decides to do something wrong right near the end of a print which is a, it's a bit of a pain but I say we will get you all all that have ordered we will get you out a tray all the orders the logbook we will also get you one of those out as well I'm rather excited to start printing the logbooks I do I do like I like the idea of having all the pages organized and ready to be used and we are using them in a disc bound system or we are making them into a disc bound system which means that you can remove pages so if there is a section that you won't use it you're not forced to still have it in your book you can take it out we it also if you say made a really you know big mistake on one page and you weren't happy you could take that out we're also selling the inserts for it as well so you can add for example more log pages without having to have a second log book though you can of course but you don't have to um, and also we will be selling the inserts unpunched if you want them unpunched they're a5 in size and that means that you can put them into your own system if you maybe have an A5 ring binder. You know, you could then punch your own holes into it to fit in your A5 ring binder and suit your own needs. Because everybody's different. And we also the sections, of course, we have a few different sections in the logbook, um, which are all detailed on my website, which is Four kids at 147.com. Um, the pages are all detailed on there, but if you don't like the order that we've put the logbook in, you can always switch it around. And I think that's the best way to suit everybody. We looked at a few different ways of binding the book. Um, we did keep going back to the likes of the disc system because it helps to keep costs down in relation to the fact that we're not buying, you know, full-on ring binders in A5 size, which can bump the price up. And, you know, some people like them, some people don't. So the disc bound system seemed to be the best way to do it and we use the disc bound system ourselves so every notebook that Megan had for uni she used the disc bound system in all of her notebooks and was able to combine pages while she was working at uni you know to take into uni with her for notes for different subjects but then when she you know finished her lectures or whatever for the day and and went back to her her room she could take out those individual note pages and put them into the books with the relevant for the relevant subject or subgroup. She was at uni on teacher training. So, you know, different modules that she may have worked on on one day, she could take the note pages out and add them to that relevant one without having to carry them all around. I also use the note bound, the disc bound system 
When I used to have to keep a sort of daily diary, I also used the notepad system for that. In fact, I might have to create myself. I might have to create myself a sort of diary as well that I can use in the same sort of system. Um, take a bit more, a bit more work that one. There's a few more days in the year than there are diamond paintings in, that you can do in in one day or one week even. Um, but yeah, I've been very excited working on that. And yeah, I'm hoping that it will have a good day printing tomorrow and hopefully get as prepared as we can. And as soon as the last of the components arrive, shipping will take place. Which will probably be good because I could do with clearing out this craft room a little bit. It is full of it is full of supplies. I have boxes of paper and they they do take over my space quite a bit. So I definitely prefer to send things out to people because then they're not in my house um, and in my craft room. But yeah, I have I have paintings galore all over the place. I think this this upcoming week, uh, I think I am going to make sure that I set aside time and I make sure that I do at least, you know, an, an hour of diamond painting a day. I don't have any plans that involve going out through this next week. So I think the least I can do for myself is allow, you know, make sure and allot time to do at least an hour of diamond painting a day. Though quite often when I don't have a week of going out and I'm not messing about with log books and things, I quite often get two or three hours in an evening, which is how I could get through so many paintings. But yeah, that's definitely laid off the last couple of weeks and I want it to come back. Because I do really, really enjoy sitting and diamond painting in front of the TV. So that's my plan, is to make sure I allot myself time for diamond painting. I may bring Mr Ducky into my, Mr Quackers, into my little rotation of diamond paintings that I'm going to do. But I will more than likely rotate primarily between the mystery painting um, from Margaret because I like the sense of achievement when I get one finished. Plus, I'm rather excited to see what the picture is. I've done two sections and I can't quite figure out an actual image yet. I can see patterns in it, but I can't figure out the image. And because I've not pulled all the cover sheet off, I actually don't know. You know, the symbols haven't sort of told me what it is if I look at them from a distance. So it will mix between that one and the custom. I may bring in Mr Duck if I'd like a little bit of variety. I say variety. Maybe if I feel like doing a block of white, I'll bring in Mr Duck. I do also have a Minions painting on the go from Diamond Art Club and when my customs are finished that will go back into the rotation. Um, but yeah, I normally rotate between two slash three. I normally have three kitted up but I normally rotate between a couple depending on what they are. And then I do also have my Heaven and Earth designs which I know a few of you are wanting to see again, and I am going to bring it back. I'm just setting myself a time frame for that to come back into the mix. So my original time frame was I was going to bring... In fact, my, my original time frame is still my time frame. So I was thinking of bringing in my Heaven and Earth designs back when I finished the custom paintings. But that's, I'm not going to finish the customs when I plan to. So I'm going to stick to still bringing in my Heaven and Earth designs after my June event. So from July, I am going to start doing or, you know, do again 
my heaven and earth sign painting in whip and chats and bring it out often i don't know if it'll be every week or every other week to maybe vary things up and allow you to see different paintings that i work on because the heaven and earth designs does take a lot more concentration in the fact that it is the symbols are not on the canvas the canvas is blank and the symbols are next to me on a tablet so it takes a it, I can't quite chat the same when I'm doing uh, my heaven and earth designs as I can when I'm doing a painting with the symbols on the canvas so I may do my heaven and earth designs as an every other week and then but I'm thinking of still bringing a whip and chat in every week probably a Sunday and I will start doing it as a routine Sunday video one week heaven and earth designs the next week whatever painting I'm working on but it's likely to be one on a canvas and we'll see how that goes I reckon it could work let's make my memory card safe um, but yeah, let me know what paintings you, you like to watch on a whip and chat. I do actually, apart from my minions, I do have a lot of square diamond paintings on the go. The mystery from Margaret is a square. My custom is a square. My heaven and earth design is a square, as is Mr. Quackers. Um, and then my minions painting from Diamond Art Club, that one is a round. But I'm sure once I finish the mystery of all the paintings that are on my wheel, there'll be another another round possibly into the mix. But for those that are new, my June event is coming up. So I have seen on the Facebook group within this last week, somebody has already got their June painting set up. I will be setting up mine, just so that in case you want to do yours at the same time, I will be setting up mine next Saturday. And that then gives, if you want to set up with me on that Saturday, by all means do, but it will give you a full week and a bit chance to set up your diamond painting. I'm gonna be doing a 30 by 40, I think. Because I'm going to be doing a whip and chat each day for every section. So for all 30 sections, I will be doing a whip and chat. Um, so in that preparation video, I'll be asking for the beginning of the questions so that I've got something to talk about. But I think I'm going to do a 30 by 40 because that will keep the sections manageable. I am still working full time. I don't have any holidays booked in June. So I will be working every day of the week, Monday to Friday. I will of course still have orders to prepare and get sent out. And a lot of the time weekends are spent reprinting stock to replenish what's been sold in the week to make sure that we can keep getting your orders out as soon as possible. Um, weekends are also well normally they're spent doing YouTube videos so of course I'll be doing those on a daily basis throughout June but we will also have the logbook shipping at some point in June so I'm sure that'll take up a weekend a weekend or two of my time um, but yeah I'm going to do a 30 by 40 because I think once that's been divided into 30 sections one for each day of June. I think it will be, you know, a nice enough size for a video. They will be a little bit shorter, probably, than the likes of this whip and chat. But they will be, you know, on a daily basis. So if, if you only tend to catch up with videos at a weekend, you will potentially have three and a half hours 
to catch up on if I manage to do a half hour video per day. So there'll be plenty for you to watch. There'll be plenty of waffling about I don't know what. I don't know what yet. I do an advent calendar whip and chat from the 1st to the 24th of December. And quite often I've talked about Christmas topics. Um, not quite as suitable for the month of June. So I'm hoping you guys have questions that I can answer. Diamond painting related or not, I'm hoping you guys start thinking of some questions to ask. If not, I'll just waffle about something. I'm sure I'll be able to think of something to waffle about. Um, but yeah, I quite enjoy doing blocks of colour on occasion. I like the fact that this has got some other colours in though, so I've got a little bit of something to do that's a little bit different once I've, I've done this run of colours. Break it up a little bit for me. Sort of like, yep, yeah, you do a nice big block of white, then you can add a little bit of colour. And then you rinse and repeat all the way along. Start bringing Mr Quackers to life. I did think of something else to think about then, and it's completely gone out there. Oh, that was it. Videos for the upcoming week that I know of. I still need to think and do um, a video for Thursday, but this is the schedule for the week for those that want to know what's coming up um, and which ones they may be, of course, more interested in. So I have an unboxing tomorrow on Monday. I pretty much always have an unboxing. Most of, I'm not quite sure what company it is, um, but it is a company that ships from China. And the reason that I say I'm not quite sure which company is because I tend to do my um, unboxings in bulk when the items arrive. And I actually have done all the videos for the month of what month will be in? For the month of May. I've actually done all the videos already. Um, so that's definitely scheduled. Tuesday, as I mentioned earlier, I, I did a little bit of Mr Quackers in a sort of short video on some tips and tricks for working with a square painting. I have discussed that the tips before in previous whip and chats, but this just gives you a, a full visual um, because I do bring in a couple of props to help me. Um, and yeah, it's all contained in one place so that if you maybe are somebody that only does squares at the moment, but six months down the line, you decide that you want to try a square, you'll be able to find the video. Then Wednesday is another unboxing video day. However, that tends to be unboxings from non-China companies based in China. Sometimes it's an unboxing from Amazon. Last week it was from um, a local UK store, B&M. B&M bargains um, and an item I got from there. But this Wednesday's is rather exciting. So coming up this Wednesday, Megan and I may have ordered some of the Heaven and Earth Design canvases. So you can now purchase just the canvas with the symbols already on the canvas. And I must say, I have done that video I was a bit too excited. I wanted to unbox it, but of course I unbox on camera. So I may have already done that video and the excitement is still there. It's still there. So do watch that. If you are wanting to do a heaven and earth design, but you are a bit unsure due to, you know, working on a blank canvas and all that sort of stuff, I've 
unboxed a few canvases to show you the different options that you have where you can still use your spares or potentially purchase some for doing a heaven and earth design on a canvas. Um, yes, very exciting video for that one. I'm not yet sure on Thursday's video. I will be getting my thinking cap on. Because I haven't been diamond painting as much, it can't be a kitting down or a, I don't think I can cope with another kitting up. Not because I don't enjoy doing them, I absolutely love kitting up paintings. However, I now have kitted up Mr. Duck, Mystery, um, the Minions and my custom as well as, of course, my Heaven and Earth design paintings. So I think to kit up another one, I don't even know if I have the storage for it. No, daft question. I do have, daft answer, I do have the storage for it. I have absolutely an abundance of storage. But I think there is only so prepared I can get with different <laughs> paintings that I think kitting up another one would be going one step too far because it would be quite a way before I actually end up doing it and of course I still then would have the potential problem in the future of what video to do because I'd already kitted up the painting so I'm still a bit unsure on Thursday. Friday is Fantails Friday so I've got some more goodies from them um, it's amazing what sort of products they keep bringing out so it'll be good to see that and then of course on Saturday which is a video I haven't yet filmed but on Saturday it will be preparation for the June advent calendar ish type so June's a whip and chat so pick yourself a painting if you want to join in it can be as big or as small as you want so if you get two diamond paint every day and you often, you know, you can say that you can get big sections done, then by all means do a bigger painting. I'm going to do a 30 by 40 because I think when split into 30, it will be like a, a very manageable size painting. So I do recommend you go for manageable. So go for maybe a smaller one. You can always have a second painting on the go once you've finished your section. So do your section for the day and then when you've finished it you move on to a different painting that you can do as much or as little as you like. But pick a painting and I'm going to get that kitted up because you know it's another painting but I suppose that one doesn't doesn't go in, in with my, my little cart with all my diamond paint goodies. It will stay in here for filming. But yeah, pick a 30 by 40 or bigger or smaller-ish painting and join me next Saturday while I get it kitted up, prepped into a section of 30. And I'm actually unsure, I'm, I'm a little bit between the two of using, of numbering it 1 to 30 in normal order and letting the app decide which section I do next or whether to actually number it randomly so I do go all over the painting. That might depend on which painting I'm actually going to do. And I also want other people to be able to join in as much or as little as they like. So maybe some people haven't got the ability to use the app. Um, suppose they could either do the section that my app chooses. Maybe. Mm. I'll have to have a think. It will depend on what painting I do, I think. If I'm doing a painting that has you know, quite a dramatic piece as part of it. That might be the section that I want to do last, in which case I'll do numbers, but stay tuned for Saturday and you'll be able to see which one I decide. But I'm very, very nearly 
done with the white on this so I'm definitely going to keep going I'm just trying to think of what topics to discuss I'm trying to think what's been popular in the Facebook group recently nothing springing to mind as sort of a question I've been asked in there it's in relation to diamond painting Hmm. This is the only thing when I don't have a list of questions from you guys. It's what I actually talk about while I'm doing a diamond painting. But I'm so close to putting a little bit of colour on this canvas that it feels kind of wrong to say, OK, I'm done. Bye bye. <laughs> I feel like we've got to put some colour on it. It's got to be done. Oh, I've got two joined together. Don't need them. I will zoom you out when I do the colour just because you'll be able to see. See me tipping out and messing about with the diamonds a little bit more. But yeah, you guys should see my craft room slash the conservatory, really, which is just off the craft room. It has piles and piles of paper and card. We'd only just recently had another restock of the DMC card stock as well. So we've got quite a few boxes of that. And then, of course, we bought a lot of boxes of paper. And all sorts of other components and they are just floating. We also have a lot of boxes in at the moment because we've been shipping out a lot of trays. So I have boxes all over my craft room, albeit flat. I have a lot of boxes. I have a lot of tissue paper. I need to have an organise. Um, I do want to be able to do sort of an updated craft room tour as well soon that will allow you all to see sort of how the shop is in the craft room so how things are stored oh and i've got a load of 3d filament at my feet um, for the printer Be oh because the pink actually ends up coming in from abroad um, because it's very hard to find a pale pink that we use in the tray. We did find a couple of different manufacturers or you know filament people that did it but we have settled on what we find gives the is the nicest print quality. The print quality is still good on them all but we had less mistakes um, that could happen with the printer with this one so we bulk ordered some in because everywhere that we seem to get filament from at one point seems to have run out I don't know if it's part of Covid or whether it's just because there's not many people that manufacture the pink but it can be extremely hard to get hold of so we might have stocked up um, but yeah, that's around my feet. Boxes, sides covered in, in lots of different drafts of the logbook. I need to go through and sort of, I think I just need to recycle all the bits that aren't going to be sort of our final copy. Our, our diamond painting logbook to use for videos and things like that. Yeah, there's just, there's paper and bits everywhere. Okay, so that is that colour. Trying to think which colour to do next. I might actually just dip into the pot. So let's see how that works for this X. Because I don't have as many when it comes to this. And sometimes when I'm working on a painting like this that has so much white... If I'm going to be diamond painting for a while, maybe this isn't working. Um, 
No, it's not. Oh, and of course I tipped out far too many. If I'm going to be working on a diamond painting that has a lot of white and I'm going to be doing quite, you know, a bit of a, spending a, a bit, bit of time doing it, then quite often I would actually continue on to the second section with white before filling in these gaps. But that's that one. Okay, the other symbol is actually, I've got one here, I've got two symbols left. Have I? No, I haven't. Yes, I have. I've got two symbols left. One of them is in this tray and the other one is in my other tray of diamonds for this painting. So let's do this one because it's in this, in this row. And then I'll get my other row out and fill in the rest. These are nice diamonds though. I think they're getting pretty much on par with the ever moment. I'm kind of feeling like it's, it's that sort of quality, but I have only worked on a small section. So there is the, you know, the odd one that is stuck together or something like that, but you get that with anything. Otherwise, the quality is very close to every moment quality. Okay, this is the other one that I want. A bit of yellow. Try and only tip a few diamonds in. And they've actually all gone the right way up. Even better. Get that one squares in. Of course, this isn't actually part of the duck itself. This is part of the splatter because it is from, it is a licensed image, this one from Splatterworks. So there are lots of bits of splatter which actually break up the white quite nicely because there's all this splatter about. Stops it being all about the 3865 going to say there's no 310 in this painting but there is just a little bit around the eyes I think. Okay so that is that section completed. Section one out of the first row that has six so I am going to move this piece of cover paper up here. Keeps it safe and that's how I work on these is I'll work on a section and I'll move the cover paper up because it is a large painting. Um, but I did show that when I did the kitting up. I will work across this row and move it up and then when I need to roll it, I'll roll it outwards. But one section of Mr Quackers is done. I don't know when I'll get round to a second, but he's been started. So I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the quality of the diamonds that I've used so far. And yeah, that's it for today's whip and chat. But thank you so much for joining me. Say so I didn't have your guys' questions to help me today, so you purely got a waffle. But I will see you, of course, in the next week's videos. But do please join me if you can in June. It's quite exciting to, to diamond paint together. And I do love seeing, you know, how other people's pictures have progressed bit by bit. Even if you're a busy person, maybe you can still get away with doing a small section each day. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.